CataractCoach.com. Faco puncture for white cataracts using a burst of ultrasound to decompress an intumescent white cataract. Now you can see the patient is relatively young. We've stained the caps with tripan blue dye. As we inject the viscoelastic, take a look here. You can see just how pressurized that capsule bag is. High intralenticular pressure. Look at that, touching the capsule. You can tell, high pressure. And the reason it's high is because you have all that liquefied lens cortex. Look at that, it's pressurized. So I'm injecting extra viscoelastic. I really want to flatten out that lens capsule. And I want to get the pressure high in the anterior chamber. I want the AC pressure higher than the pressure in the capsule bag. Now we'll make our incision here. And let me tell you about our Cataract Coach course coming up at the ASRS in Boston. If you'll be there, you better come to our course Saturday morning, 8 a.m. sharp. Check it out. It's totally free. Now, getting back to this case, the idea is to use a single burst mode on your Faker machine. So one burst, 10 or 20 milliseconds, bevel down right there in the center, and boop, a little burst. And a little bit of aspiration. So low aspiration too. Only about 100 or 200 millimeters of mercury of aspiration at the most, a vacuum. Low flow rate, 20 cc's a minute or less. Now you can see the bag is decompressed. And now we can create a normal rexus. So I'm using our forceps here. We're going to create a nice, beautiful rexus. I'm going slow. And if I notice it wants to run out, what would you do? Quickly drag it to the center and complete any kind of round rexus or even irregular rexus, but as long as it's intact. So, but luckily, it's decompressed enough that I can complete a beautiful rexus. Look at that. Now, look at the eyelashes. Young patient here, right? What do you think the lens density is here? How much density is in that nucleus? Very, very little. In fact, you probably don't even need the phaco probe. Let's just go in with the IA probe, so coaxial IA, and we can just aspirate all the lens material out. The hardest part of this case, of course, is getting that anterior capsule rexus made. So now I can just aspirate all the pieces of lens material out. It comes out pretty easily. There's really no nuclear sclerosis. Patient's also myopic there. So you saw I lifted up the iris to reduce that retropulsion of the iris. That's that LIDRS, L-I-D-R-S, lens iris diaphragm retropulsion syndrome, as described by Osher and others. So here we go, cleaning up now. Lens is out. We've got a lot of lens cortex, though, kind of adherent to the bag. So we'll use our IA probe, take our time, clean up as much as we can here. Now keep in mind, sometimes these white cataracts can stain or fibrose or scar up the capsule bag, and you may not be able to remove all these little opacities. But we can certainly try here. So I'm trying with vacuum. We'll also go with some mechanical polishing to really clean it up as much as we can. So yeah, these are tough cases. You can use other devices. We've talked about Zepter devices. We've talked about needle decompression. We've talked about using a femtosecond laser. There are a lot of different ways of doing this. The double rexus technique, obviously my favorites. Well, where do you want to go to learn about all these other techniques? Of course, cataractcoach.com, the website. Even if you want to just watch videos, it's a far better search engine for my videos than YouTube. So just leave YouTube for a second, go to cataractcoach.com, check out the search engine, you will love it. Now, here we go, bag full of cohesive viscoelastic now, and going in here with a polisher, and see if we can polish up the undersurface of the cap's rim, and you can see, you can get some of the material out, but it's really not going to be possible to remove all of it. There's some scarring of that caps or bag from having this intumescent white cataract. So end of the case here, let's get that lens in the bag. Here it goes, nice and easy. Single piece monofocal acrylic lens, a toric lens too, to help address the patient's pre-existing corneal astigmatism. And this patient's highly myopic and we're aiming for a post-op goal of about minus two. As you know, minus two is a focal point of about half a meter. So for my American friends, that's about 19 inches. And that means that at 50 centimeters away, that's where the patient's spending all his day using a computer. So patient does a lot of computer work and that big monitor is about... Uh, 50 centimeters away, so minus two is going to be just about perfect for this patient to enjoy fantastic computer vision and near vision all day long without having to wear spectacles. Removing viscoelastic, especially from behind the optic, as you know, that's going to help ensure that our torque lens is going to stay in good position. And now let's finish up the case here and call it a day. So phaco puncture, a neat technique, something you want to consider. Faco puncture can be done very easily. Remember, you've got to have appropriate settings. Single burst mode, a very short burst of 20 milliseconds, low vacuum, 100 or 200 millimeters of mercury at the most, and low flow, 20 cc's per minute. Only the single burst. If you go in with too much energy or too much vacuum, you can go right through the lens material and nail the posterior capsule. 
If you do that, that would be sad. But hey, send the video in so we can all learn from it. End of the case. You know, let's seal up the incisions. Call it a day. Beautiful case, if I must say so myself. And check out our website, catacoach.com. Follow me on all social media. And check out the amazing podcast.